Hi everybody, okay today because uh, I'm in lockdown for another two or three days because my daughter had coronavirus we've been at home for a, over a week now been doing some things to the bike um, I wanted to change uh, the front disc pads mainly because they're stock ones and they tend to have a bit of brake fade when they go a bit shiny and it's happening now so just thought I'd uh, change them. I changed the back ones, my back uh, brakes, because um, they were wooden in that respect when you touch them, they were not happening, kind of thing. To Ferodos, um, the Eco Friction ones, and these are the front ones. Um, works brilliant on the back. The back itself is uh, excellent. It, uh, as a brake now. And just like touch and you could feel it coming on so it helps you just with a bit of you know, coming into corners etc you can just put a little bit of back brake on if you want uh, but uh, the front ones are a bit wooden as well so I'm just going to change them it's not a lot of tools you need uh, I've got a 10 and a 12 mil socket 12 mil for these two here uh, I've got a screwdriver this all comes in this lovely little kit from Alfred which I think is brilliant because on the back of the screwdriver you can use a wrench as well I screwed over bits in there and as uh, metric and uh, is that imperial 532 816 I don't know anyway so there's just the two you want because you could have got them two there you've got to take this cover off here first which is for the pin so that's a cover save everything on this side so I know where everything is and then you've got the pin inside so I just need to use one of these as well we've got some grease to put on the pin when we've taken the pin out and uh, some memory paper just to rub it um, I've also got uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to need it I'll have to have a look at the, um, the pistons see, see how they are just give me a bit of clean up with some gunk engine cleaner but uh, that's it, so I'm just going to loosen this one off. Where is it gone? Oh, crap me. Oh, there you go. Always losing stuff. So, 10 mil just to crack this one off first. Just crack it off so we can get it out. And we've got 12 mil on, uh, on these two here. I crack these off. I've already had look at them early and cracked them a little bit so they're not as tight as they should be. Um, but yeah. Should be a nice easy job this. Fingers crossed. I always get myself in a bit of trouble. And then should the hanger should come off. Make sure you do it. Like that. And you got your two pads. Like I said, the pads aren't that bad. It's just that they're, uh, they're a bit non-abrasive now. So, let's go take this pin out. And I'll clean that pin up afterwards. So we'll take that out next. I'm thinking not today, it's 26 degrees. I put some little videos up of the pictures of uh, the bikes I bought and sold. Uh, about four of them was within the last year to actually get enough money to buy this. And we ain't got lots of money like normal, everybody's the same. Okay, so this pin now should pull out. Pistons at the back there, aren't they? Just keep giving it a whiz and it'll wind itself out a bit more. Taking the junk off it as it comes out. I 
Okay, so that's the pin. All right, so now the curpers, they just sit in one part there, and the pin goes through this bit here. But what I wanted to do quickly, hmm, take them two out as they are, to know where they sit. The pistons, we can keep things out there. Okay, I'm going to leave that there, and leave that there so I know which way they go. I've got a cloth ending degreaser. Oh, my bloody helmet. You see, I'm wearing my helmet because I can't wear anything else to wear. Let's keep my head nice and cool. It's bloody hot, that's about 28 degrees. Um, where did I put that? Okay. <laughs> Just some engine degrees gunk and a little, little old toothbrush. So stick that down there like that. Right. So if I push these pistons back, I just want to see if I can pull the, push them out a little bit further. Hmm. These are wonders. Wanna come out wonders and it's murder in it. Right, I'm just gonna give these a bit of a whisk clean. Round and round and go. Give the pistons a bit of a clean. That's in there. The engine gunk. I'm going to hold that piston in. I'll push it in. See if that other one pops out if I hold that one in. Just to make sure they're both working around. Yep. Again, I'll just give this a just clean around it as well. Dump it on. Just make sure you've got the, the pistons themselves nice and clean before you bang everything back together again. Otherwise, there's no. You get an edge, you get a bit where you get a lip on them. So, I'm going to push this one in now. And hold that in place. And I can push the other one out. That popping the piston, just enough to in the edge where it always stays and never goes anywhere else. It's been mad not be able to ride my bike for a couple of months doing my heading. Well, a couple of months, what am I talking about? Two weeks nearly now. I'm doing some be sausage. Right, so they're all nice and clean now. I'll push them back out of the way as much as I can because obviously the new pads have got to go in there and just clean up the, the area where they're going to be sitting. And yeah, that's nice. Right, before I go any further with that, I'm going to do that there. Oh, where's my pin? This is a pin. Do that a bit of whiz first. So it's wet. I'm going to do it a bit of rub with some sandpaper. I'm going to call it so the actual pads move nice and easy and they're uh, and I've got some lithium grease like bearing grease that I'll put on the push pin as well before I put that back in that should be all nice and clean now Yeah. 
nice and smooth and clean. So I just put a bit of grease on here. That rhythm stuff that doesn't fling or go anywhere, it just stays where it's supposed to go. I'm recording, mother. I, it might be up, but I've got nowhere to put my camera. I'm just doing a brake, front brake um, change. <laughs> Into that way, isn't it? Yeah, it is bloody up. But it's actually, you know, it's a bit cool, I suppose. Mm. There you go, so that's that done. So we know all the calipers are, pistons are clean, the carriage is clean, where they're going to sit the new ones. The pins are going to go in there, it's going to be nice and easy to do. Now we're going to get the new pads out. I've got nothing on my fingers. Get the new pads out. Fitting an alarm system to this last week, so I had not a lot to do. My chain keeps so flicking up onto the back mug guard. It's great, great good stuff. I have to put it on with a brush. Um, I've got some silkine stuff that you spray on, and that just splattered everywhere. This stuff sticks like I don't know what to chain, so that one I was in for ages. I'm just getting it a bit up on the rim on this side of the back tyre, and just a bit spattering up. You can tell because I clean that off, and I'll tell whether it's got back in. Right. So anyway, these are new pads. Now on the back of this pad here, she had a metal clamp. I'm not sure if I can get that off to use on the new one. See how this scored? Yeah, they're just getting smooth. Factory ones. Right, so let's see if we can get this off. What well, can I get this off of here? There's just tabs out there, so maybe I can uh, just untab it. Yeah, that's good. Okay, that went on the back one. I'll right, just give that a bit of a clean as well. Just a bit of gunk. Engine degreaser. There's my cross gun. Okay, that's a bit better. I always use these again, because they're there for a purpose. Stop any brake screws and stuff, I think. But they're there for a purpose, so. Right, so, these are the pads. Locking into position, and then just a pin through there. And they're going in that way. So, the actual, this needs to go onto, onto this. The one that it goes on to, let's go into this one. There you go, on there, like that, good. So, hmm. Turn it the wrong way around. Just quick little thing to think about that one. Got to have a think. Do the pads go in this way and knock in? No, they go that way, don't they? Okay, right, so it was right way around. So they go that way around. And that way around. So it's got to go on to that one. Right, let's hold them together. There's the pin, the pins are ready, the pins are grease. I can't remember. I always do this, you know. Put some it down, like that. Ah! Put some it down there, I don't know where I put it. Okay, so these are going to go in that way around. One goes underneath that side, and one locks into place. Okay, 
Okay, my the cage might have to come out a bit more, does it? No. Let me push him into the into the groove that's there. Maybe if I do that one first. Put the pin in, just catch that first one. So I'll cut the first one there so I can hold it now. Then the second one, I'll run out of hands. Hold that there, my fingers out greasy. Inwards and come on outwards, it's like a little groove it has to go into. Right, so that can stay there, and this one can come out. A bit fiddly. That's it. So now the pin should be able to go. All the way through, hold them in place. Just put a little bit more of the grease on this chubby. And that is ready to go back on the bike. Before I do that, I use my bee gunk down the bottom here and the rubber busher there all the way around here just to clean it up before I put it all back on. And don't forget that the crackers when you first get on your back because you've got to bend them in a little bit. Right, so now that go back on there because I push the pistons back so it's nice and easy. I've got the two two of these ready. I always put a little tiny bit on. Just helps them when you go from rusting really more than anything. With it being lithium grease and non moving it well, it didn't go nowhere. So that's that good. Let's push it out, wipe your hands afterwards. And then we just got to look at the top one. Make sure we just got it in. Like anything else when you're putting things back together, just loosey, just everything loose to start with. And then tighten up as necessary. Right, so, 12 mil again. Tighten them up. Wise me in first a bit. Yeah, the carb is just a bit loose on the actual thing there because we haven't pushed the pistons back into position yet. So don't worry about that yet. I'll do that afterwards. Too tight, tight enough to hold it, so hold the bracket. There we go. Right, uh, 10 mil on here. 10 mil on here, just tighten this pin up to make sure it's tight. The pin, now I've got my locking thing, I'm just going to put a little grease on this because these tend to sometimes stick in position, these, and they're made to go out after a few years. More grease coming out. 
Yeah, sometimes these are just terrible to try to get out. They just there we go. Try to put it in position. Do it by turn so get it seated. Wipe the ends. Okay, so we've got this now. Just a covering, not really that say they just they just seize up on older bikes. And that's it really. Quick break. Oh, I get up. I'm getting old, then. Well, I am old. Bike. Check there's no leaks, after pumping it back up again, check it's solid on there, which it is. Check this is free moving. Pretty good, it just comes out a bit as you pads away. Yeah, like I said, these they're just shiny like glass. So it just stops your stopping power. Which then affects your ABS, I suppose, really. Because uh, the ABS can't, this, this is what, 90 times a second it's judging whether you want it on, and then when you want it on, you could, you know, you could bring a lot of pressure on your brake, you could just lock onto it then and start your ABS off going around the corner, so much should be when you're braking into a turn. Right, that's it for now. I'm going to clean the bike up a little bit. I've got some. So that was just a front brake change. And I thoroughly say, I mean, e EBC brakes. Um, Ferrodo brakes are good as well. And, I, and like I said, the back ones I put on the back side, the two at the same time back in the front. The back one has been superb, so. So it's about time we rest, get rid of these uh, these pads. The stock one that came with the bike. Getting dusty out here on it. Never mind, it's been sat, that's all. But yeah. Got some uh no dig of these things, I'm sorry, it's just aesthetic stuff, but you know, I could save me break leave us. And it's got a an arm as well now. That I fitted last week. Well, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Please uh, like and comment if I made any missed errors in this uh, install. Please uh, let me know in the comment section. Uh, like the video if you can, please. Um, we've got uh, 40 odd subscribers now. I'd like to get up to 100 if I could. You know, um, I'm starting to produce more videos now, and I'm old and uh, I'm working hard. Still the same. Uh, 61 this year, but. Um, yeah, I've been working all through the virus pandemic, six days a week, but unfortunately, uh, like I say, with COVID, I had two weeks off, so I thought I'd get a couple of things done on the bike. Um, our test kits went off uh, this morning, about eight o'clock, to find out whether they can go back to work or not, to make sure, basically. And there's some new th um, science now that if you, if you have it or had it, then you won't catch it again. Very unlikely because the strain doesn't the strain of the virus doesn't change that much, so your body immune system knows what it is and can fend it off. That's what they're saying now through the evidence, but we'll have to wait and see. Right, thank you for watching. Like I said, please subscribe, like, and uh, and comment, and uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye now.